In this video, we're going to focus on how we can change the border radius or the point radius here and maximize the size of the hoover. As you can see, when we hoover it here, the inner border color changes to the border color, but also the background color, and it maximizes or expands in, in shape or in radius. So let's start to look how to do this. So let's start to look how to trigger the hoover effects in a data point of a line chart in chart.js. So the first thing what we want to do is we want to grab our default code, which you can find here on chartjs3.com, getting started this specific link, which you can find as well in the description box. Once shown here, copy this boiler template. Copy this. If you want to understand the code, please watch this video here that explains it all. So then I'm going to paste this in here. I will cut out the title and I will put in this title in here save it refresh there we are let's maximize the size of this chart say 80 percent save refresh there we are let's convert this now into a line chart go down here line save and there we are so what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove this save refresh so i have a nice thick line so what i want to do is when i hover over this i want to trigger the hovering effect on this so how do we do this well all I have to do here in the data set, I'm going to put an enter. And then, for example, I want to maximize the, the hoover radius of this, or at least uh, the point radius of this point here, or any of these points on hoover. So what we're going to do here is, we can say here the point hoover radius, and let's make this five pixels instead of what it is now. So if I refresh now, and then there you are, you can see it changes, but it's hard to notice so let's change the background color and let's maximize the size a bit of this but also change the background color so what I want to say here as well is the point over I guess we can do the border as well the border width let's make it five pixels as well if I save this refresh as you can see here now it starts to increase in size let's change the color as well on Hoover so what we're going to do now is we're going to say here a point Hoover background color background color and let's make this black save that refresh and now if I hover over it you can see here the inner part becomes black while the outer border stays purple or whatever the original color is which is based on this here of course we could copy that and make maybe the background color itself is similar to this so we're going to grab this I'll copy all this array here put the array in here save refresh and now if i hover over it you can see here we have two uh, we have the same color as the border color but they are still a slight difference so what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that this border color here on hoover will have the identical color so what i'm going to say here is the point hoover border color and let's grab the exact same array put that in here save this refresh and now if i hover over it you can see here it becomes completely full color of the entire circle or the point and that's basically how you can control this very easily so if you enjoyed this video and you enjoy how to do these hoovering effects here maybe you want to add for example a arbitrary or annotation line in that case i'm going to recommend you this video here on how to add a custom annotation line on hoover in chart.js which would make this basically this line here with these dotted lines at the top and a solid line at the bottom, which is quite interesting as well.